How's it going, my fellow wagons? Do not embarrass me. Can I see at this Mr. Debug? Milton, I should like to have a word with you. Milton? Yes, I'm squad. Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I'm just Ooh, Mr. Pearson. John Marston. You're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What was that? What the hell was that? What are they just killed on our horses. My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh, what? They burnt it up. Join our camp. Oh, yeah, not two of them. Now they just took on. Yeah, I heard about you. Jim? What? Oh, no. Can it Watch you burn! Crap. You ain't over your head. Put it down, all right. That's the worst of it? You know that all? Luke. They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Still not PJs, man. Man, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, we're getting our guns up, boy. Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We, I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. We're back. We're back in action. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Get rid of all our worn out guns now. Oh no, they're not. All right. Don't have any more worn out guns. I don't think. Pete and shotgun. Lancaster repeater. Yeah, all good in the hood. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. And that's the place up ahead. There's our cows. It's Arthur's hat in it. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Hey, we've got Arthur. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. I think. Yeah. Yeah. There's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's fuck these bitches up. Yeah, man, I'll do. Hey!
something. I used to get We've got to go pick up the guns after this. There's guns hey. everywhere. Hey! I know you're in here. Pit digging, pit shoveling, backwoods, sacker, no good trash. woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's gotta make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she Oh, you bet we're pulling the trigger. You better know. Shit. Alright, we've got there's loads of guns here, we've gotta use them. John's cattle run. Oh, you don't need that. You need to... Okay, sorry, this is gonna be boring, but sawn off shotgun. We can pick up all these guns, it saves loads of money. And all there's loads of money here as well to help us. Oh, we've already got a cattleman revolver. We've already got a Sean off shotgun. So we don't need that one. Can loot him. Taking the oat cakes. Where's this gun up? Gonna be somewhere, isn't it? It's not there. Oh, it's annoying. This gun. We'll check this one, we'll just loot a few bodies and go. I won't keep wasting time. It's probably getting annoyed. Litchfield, yes. Bodies to loot. We've got like one dollar on. At loads, but it'll do. Come back. 
collection. Uh, yeah. We're getting loads of them. And a load of money. We only had like fifteen dollars before this mission. We got some good money now, that'll do. We'll get going. Need our horse. Let's go, girl. Litchfield we picked up. decent guns now. Cool, that'll do. can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Whew. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? He's right, though. What was he supposed to do? Now all the farm people like us. Because we shut up all the bad guys. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim. Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. Let's go. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. Uh, don't know. It's always a chance. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Could be money from Miss Adler. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay. Good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. 
Hey, no be damn. This is our side message. Message. Mission. Mission. Sorry. The message notification put me off. This is our side mission. Our side job. We work in a ranch and a part time cowboy. Abigail! She dipped. Darling John. A kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Ah, uh, that times. We're gonna open that gift, don't we? It's this new shirt. <laughs> oh no, jacket maybe. I don't know. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Well, let's get straight into it. As a working man. I should have took the horse. It's well far away. How far away are we going? Oh, okay. Pick up the post. Oh, there's the post. They don't have much fence look. The fences always seem to break him. Holding a hammer on.
we're gonna go yeah a few months later are they still left us or was the wife back well, that's her fool hey you know I was wrong about you turned into a fine worker Jim Milton oh thank you means a lot hey you think I could speak with mr. Geddes see if maybe he's open to offer me some guidance no, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Go speak to Geddes. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure, I'll just get him. Pow! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife, my wife also has Issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But... I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. <laughs> <laughs> 